Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so I'm a little bit late to this one. A huge apology for that. I just couldn't be helped. I was actually meant to get it on Tuesday and then put a video out Wednesday, but there was a delay for some strange reason. But look, I got it in my hands. There is a little bit of damage to it, but not enough to warrant me returning it. And even if I did want to return it, it is sold out, so I cannot get a replacement for it. And of course, the movie I'm talking about is Jaws. And this is volume six of the Film Vault range. Now, I've, I've noticed this when it comes to this, this series of movies. There always seems to be that one movie that sells out. Just like the original four that came out, Blade Runner disappeared quite quickly. Jaws is doing the exact same. Now, if there's anyone out there that is interested in picking one of these up, I can tell you is now, Amazon Italy are still selling them. So if you are interested, get on over, pick a copy up before they're gone for good. And trust me when I say you do want to pick up a copy of this because it's an amazing release. The artwork is absolutely exquisite on this one. And I do love all the trinkets that you get inside it. But I'll be taking his around it very, very soon. I'm looking forward to doing it. As for the movie itself, look, it's a masterpiece. I don't have to say much about it. I love every aspect of it. The cast itself, you know, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, Roy Schneider. You know, all, all bringing their A game. And quite convincingly, I might add as well. The shark itself, everything is done practically, and that's the way it needs to be done. It's probably why we never had... <laughs> There's actually a fly flying around in front of me there, folks. Sorry, I couldn't stop laughing. But uh, yeah, look, a lot of the shark movies that you see coming out today, everything is done, you know, CGI, and it just never looks all that convincing. Where every time I see the shark in this, you just get a great sense of scale, and it is terrifying to see. The John Williams score. I think it was Jack Black who said it in that movie, The Holiday. Two notes, you got yourself a villain. That is the genius that is John Williams. And uh, he is probably regarded as probably the greatest composer that ever lived. I have never seen so many genres stuffed into one movie. You know, it is very suspenseful. There's a great sense of adventure. It is horrifying at times. It's definitely disturbing at times. And uh, there's some great comedic moments. And it is all expertly handled by Steven Spielberg. My God, that fly is driving me mad. Uh, so sorry for that, folks. A uh, little bastard keeps coming in front of my camera. Uh, hopefully that's the last I'll see. Oh, no, he's back again. But yes, it's look, I don't have to say anything more about the movie, folks. If you haven't seen it, you really need to check it out. And if you are going to check it out, Check it out on 4K because it is one of the best looking 4K transfers you're ever likely to see. I remember I remember when this first got announced on 4K, I was somewhat skeptical because I remember the Blu-ray so well. And the Blu-ray looked phenomenal. It really, really did. But uh, somehow they managed to take it a couple of notches above that Blu-ray, amazingly enough. And anyone that's seen the movie on 4K, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, in terms of special features as well, you're well covered with this release. There is a few featurettes in there, there's a couple of makings of as well. Uh, so uh, yes, there's quite a bit in there and they're actually great to watch. Some great featurettes in there. Right folks, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to finally get around to unboxing this for you before, uh, before I um, flip out when it comes to this fly that's buzzing around me. It is really starting to piss me off. So here we go, here's the unboxing and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. Right, so here we go, Jaws. So just like my last video with Shawshank, I'm not gonna spend too much time with the artwork here until I can remove uh, the clear slip, because as you can see, there was a bit of a glare on that, so I just want to show it in the best possible light. But I promise you, I will get back to it now in a second. So here we go, this is the spine of it. And trust me when I say it, it matches perfectly with the rest of the releases. Uh, unfortunately, the ratings in the bottom there, uh, they're not stickers, they're part of the slip itself. And that's the opposite side. And it's the exact same. Right, so I'm going to take it then around to the back here. So, uh, as you can see, it shows you everything that's inside this. And there is a, there's quite a bit in there as well. And uh, I'll go right down to the bottom here. This is your technical aspects and a close look at some of your special features as well. So there we go. That is the clear slip itself. So I'm going to slide it off so we can finally get a good look at this main artwork and uh, wow, it really is amazing. I have to tell you, it is the color scheme that really sells it to me, it looks amazing. The artwork itself is actually quite simplistic. You know, you got the shark itself, uh, you got the swimmer there in the ocean. But again, when you do see the color in the background, 
it is breathtaking and I completely understand why this set is selling out and why people want this release of it. Uh, quite amazing. But as you notice as well, if you look at the spines there, it does continuate that picture, as you can see there. And uh, I'll take it then around to the back and you get another great shot of Jaws himself. And of course you can see all the blood there as well. And then you got a couple of credits there in the bottom. But uh, wow, that is a great shot to have in the back of this box. So uh, yes, loving the artwork on this. Is there anything in the bottom and the top? No, nothing else. So there we go, that is the main artwork for this set. Uh, just like every other release as well, it is magnetically sealed. As a matter of fact, you can sort of make out the magnets there. So uh, when I open it up, uh, you should get a quote from the movie, which we do. Uh, and of course it is, uh, you're going to need a bigger boat. And of course you have a picture of the orca there as well and the barrel. Uh, actually the artwork on the left hand side does look great. And then of course you get the first of the items that you get inside this release, which is the envelope. I'll show you that now in a second. But I just wanted to quickly show you how everything is nestled inside the box. But as you can see right up here, that's where my damage is. And it just had to be on the crystal, of course it did. But uh, look, like I said, it's not enough to warrant returning it. But it is a shame that it's there. So uh, right, that is the, the inside. So I'm gonna start with this envelope and then we will get on to the actual crystal and the discs themselves. So here we go, uh, this is the artwork for the envelope and uh, that's badass, it looks great. Now I can't quite remember the movie, I'm sure this picture featured in the movie, I don't know if it's a kid's drawing, I don't know what it is, but it was very nice touch to put this on the envelope. And uh, I'll take us around to the back there, of course you get another quote, it is from Sam Quint. Uh, the amount of quotes that you're gonna see through this entire release is quite amazing. So uh, that is the back of it. There is nothing else to be seen and nothing on the spine of it. So let's open it up and see what we are dealing with. So is that everything inside? No, there's still another little postcard there or a character card, I think it is. So that is everything. Oh, there's another one. Man, I thought I got everything out. I didn't. So I think that's everything out now. So uh, right, everything is sliding all over the place because everything has a high gloss finish. So uh, I'm going to start with the the uh, main postcards here. So as you can see, this is actually showing as the original poster artwork for it. But right around to the back here, you will notice that it shows you with the cast, uh, the crew behind this movie. It also gives you a bit of a write up of how it's done in the box office. So that is the first postcard. Then on to the next. And uh, this is my favorite of the postcards. Check out that shot. And I have to admit that the black, the black and white color scheme uh, looks pretty badass. It works very well on these postcards. And then of course you get a picture of Spielberg there. Uh, of course you got Jaws down the bottom there as well as you can see, uh, attacking the orca. And uh, there's basically a write up of the uh, yeah the background behind the movie itself. So uh, that then brings us on to another postcard here. And it is the Orca again, as you can see, it's slightly tilted. And right around to the back, you might get another picture of Spielberg there again. And again, just a, a write up. So again, if you do want to pause that and check it out, by all means do so. And then that brings us on to the last postcard. And uh, it is Robert Shaw. And then of course, when I take his around, it is a bit of more, bit more of a write up there. And as you can see, you got Spielberg again, just with the, the cast which is always nice to see. I always love, love seeing behind the scenes stills uh, with releases like this. Right, folks, so there we go. That is the five postcards that you get inside it. So the next thing you get here is this great poster. And the paper on this is very similar uh, to the Arrow Video Limited sets, you know, that, that kind of real strong paper, uh, which is nice to see as well. But uh, again, it's that main artwork that we've seen on the main box here. But when you do flip it around, you will uh, get the original artwork as well, which was uh, important. They had to throw this into the set. So there we go, that is the poster. Uh, then we have uh, something that you do see in the movie as well. Uh, no swimming, hazardous area, beach closed by uh, order, TV uh, Police Department. And uh, yeah, it does, as you can see, when I bend the light against it, all the writing has the, a nice bit of spot gloss into it. And when I take it around to the back, you just got Jaws, the film vault there as well. And then Amity Island, Amity Island, wow. Hard to, it's hard, you can't say it without saying Amityville. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that is uh, one of the 
cards that you get in this. Now, this one was a very nice touch. It is the banner that you see in the movie, which uh, has the graffiti on it. And uh, just like the postcards, it does have uh, a high gloss finish to it. So I was really happy to see this in this set. Anything that's taken directly from the movie, it's always great to see. And then right around to the back. And it's just the same as what you've seen on the last card though. Right, so put that to a side. And then the last thing we have here is three character cards. And of course, you will get a quote from each character. And yeah, smile you son of a bitch. That was always going to be on the back of this. And as you can see, there's a bit of a kind of coffee stain on that. So uh, that's one of the character cards. Then, of course, you got uh, Richard Dreyfus here. And again, just like all the other cards, nice high gloss finish to it. And that's the quote. And then, of course, the last one is Robert Shaw himself. And right around to the back, as you can see, there's a shark's tooth where it wasn't on the other two. So, uh, yeah, quite clever to do that. So there you have it, folks. That is all the little items that you get inside that envelope. So I'm just going to put this to a side, uh, bring in the box set again. Let's open it up and have a look at the crystal. So here we go. So hopefully you can make it out, but there we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so mine is 2,350 of 4,000. As you can see, there is a picture of the orca there as well, etched into the crystal. And I keep saying this, folks, uh, it's such a clever way to have your your, your number. Uh, you know, I've never seen that in any other release, you know, doing it in like a, on a nice crystal like this. And uh, the weight of it, there's an incredible amount of weight to it. And there's no wonder uh, there's always damage around that area uh, because the crystal is so heavy. So, uh, yeah, that is the crystal itself. So uh, bring the box set back in and hopefully I can put this crystal away without any issues. There we go. And all that's left to do is to actually show you the discs themselves. So here we go. Right, so as you can see, it's just the mouth of a shark. Um, and when you do bend that light again, you can kind of make out the spot glossing on it. But it is, it is only on the skeleton there. There's nothing else, no spot glossing on the actual writing itself. And then when you turn it around to the back, of course, you have the orca there. And uh, the orca, the writing on the orca does have a nice bit of spot glossing to it as well, as you can see there. And then the rest is a simple matte finish. Uh, there's nothing on the spines of it, no. Right, so here we go. Open it up. And right, that's uh, one of the kids in the movie. Uh, that's, uh, of course, the cast, uh, Robert Shaw, uh, Richard Dreyfus, and Roy Schneider. Uh, again, all high gloss. And then when I flip it around to the other side here, you got uh, seen with your wand there uh, in the ocean being attacked. And then open it up in full. And as you can see, uh, Jaws is actually written across two discs, which is quite a nice touch. And as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, the pictures. Actually, let me just remove the discs so we can actually have a proper look at the main artwork. So as you can see, it's just uh, all panic. Uh, everyone running out of the ocean. So uh, very, very nice. So uh, the presentation on this set is quite amazing. It really is. So uh, let me put the discs in and uh, close that up. So there you have it, folks. That is everything inside this stunning release of Jaws. And if you haven't picked one up, trust me, look into it because I think you'd be massively impressed by it. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is Jaws. And uh, up next for the film bolt range, is 2001 A Space Odyssey and Apollo 13. They're both of them are coming out in October. And I have to tell you is the artwork on A Space Odyssey in particular looks absolutely insane and it's shaping up to be one of the best releases from this range. Cannot wait to get my hands on them. So there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of this release of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.